Time now for the final opportunity for a change of power atop the PBA. Wes Malott, your reigning PBA king of bowling. He's taken down Chris Barnes, Patrick Allen, Walter A. Williams Jr. Last week it was Rhino Page who fell. And now the final assault, <laughs> if you will. Assault. By, by two-time player of the year winner, Parker Bone the third. them all. Parker Bone has made a little ball change and moved a little bit farther uh -huh. left. You know, he found something in practice that he liked and you heard him in his interview with Brienne. He said, listen, I may have scored 260, but I only bowled 190. A lot for the first time in his career. One player of the year honors last season. Hence, he began this whole series as the king of bowling and is yet to give up his grasp on it. Because of shots like that. And he's made some pretty big spare pickups along the run as well. Yeah, and talking to him during practice before week. he went on, he said, you know, every week, like the lanes seem wow. to be getting tighter and tighter, Here even though it's the same oil pad. He says, Randy, I'm gonna make an adjustment. I'm gonna move up on the approach. I'm gonna slow down a bit so I can get my ball to read that spot down the lane. He tied Chris Barnes for the tour lead this past season with eight television appearances and won three titles. Two for two to open up his final defense of his throne. The king of PBAville. Great shot. I like that. He's been a good, he's been a good king. A kind king ruled with an iron fist when he needed to put people in their place. Double messenger there. But let's not forget that he's taking on arguably the second greatest left-hander in the history of professional bowling behind Earl Anthony. How about a messenger? I know how my Rob Likes a messenger. Uh, do you know what else I like? 300 games. You like yeah. roll-offs too, don't you? I do. West rolled a perfect 300 game two weeks ago, but no one has bowled more perfect games through the course of their PBA career than that man, Parker Bone the third. 84 perfect games. Oh, oh, oh. He's even bowled one on television. And right now, perfect through three and trying to send a little message the king's way. I did. Parker and Wes met once this season on television. It was at the Lumber Liquidators Shark Championship in Baltimore, Maryland, just before the winter break. And it was Wes taking down Parker 290 to 204. Wasn't me. That was Whitey. Yep. So both open up with a three-bagger. Two weeks ago, it was Walter Ray Williams Jr. trying to dethrone Wes Malott, and Wes, I will have none of that. Have that for dinner. And chew on this one for dessert. And have an after-dinner mint of a 300 game. Wes was dialed in that night. I think he liked that. I think he did too. Really? Yeah, he did, Wes. He'd like another strike. You know what that would be? Four in a row. Randy, 
you know what I like more than a ham bone? No. Back to back ham bones. Remember the first match, Brad Angelo could not get add some back excitement. from that spot. All you keep doing is going high flush. Wes Malott, the rotation, the rev rate, he gets it to read that spot perfectly. Five weeks in a row of non-stop scorpion pattern for Wes Malott. Leaves the three. And the first chink in the armor for Parker Bone to the third. It's a minor chink, but a minor hiccup can become exposed rapidly the way Wes Malott has been bowling these past few weeks. Parker picks up the single spare. And we move on to the fifth. Parker down 11. The final, final of this five week King of Bowling series powered by AMP. Parker starts a new string of strikes with one in the fifth. Does it say strike up there? Yes, it does. That's all that matters. You're right, it is. There's only one thing that Parker Bone the Third has ever struggled with on this tour, and that's when the lanes get really slick, and he has to get soft with his speed. He likes to bring the heat and pipe it. And when his ball won't react down lane, that's the only time he's ever struggled. I've learned. That three pin that he left was a result of just a pinch too firm, a little bit too much speed. Drops the nickel. Robbie's got one of the prettiest releases in the sport. You watch that hand flip around the side of the bowling ball. I mean, it's just spectacular. And when I watch Wes Malott bowl, the phrase that comes to mind is efficiency of motion. He just, it just looks so effortless. Love that sportsmanship. Kids aren't here to distract me, so I guess he'll try. Wes Malott learned that he already took care of one opponent. Player of the Year honors via his cell phone your kids, driving to the airport from that man, Parker Bone III, giving him updates from the U.S. Open. Oh. Carry on, my wayward son. Marat opens up his final defense of his crown with an opening six pack. The conclusion of the final King of the Bowling showdown when we return to the Kegel Training Center in Lake Wales. We welcome you back to ESPN's continuing coverage of the PBA King of Bowling, powered by Amp Energy. Rob Stone, Randy Peterson, Rian Pedigo with you. I want to remind you that for the third consecutive year, the PBA will return to a Six Flags property this year at Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey for 15 shows. The first airs Sunday, June 21st, 1 p.m. Eastern on ESPN. Time now for your Amp Energy Power Stats. Take a look at these numbers, Rob. Parker Bone the third moved six boards to the left from his first match to this match. And you can see that the rev rate is similar, 412 and 382. That's not that far off, but when you start looking at speed, 17.7, 19 miles an hour, although it doesn't seem like a big difference, it's huge in terms of reaction down the lane. Parker down 31, and he struck and all but one frame. Leaves the double wood. Just lack of down lane reaction due to the ball speed. He just needs to get a pinch softer. Give that ball an opportunity to turn up. Again, we mentioned Parker Bone, 32 career tour titles. Fifth most all time with Norm Duke. And of those 32, just one of them, the major, he won, or he's finished runner up eight times. 
in majors. Asked him, all right, Parker, great career, wonderful career. What's left for you? And he said, you know, winning a major would be nice. I want to continue to compete at the level that I know I can. And I'll get some more titles along the way, but he says, and I found this interesting, I get up for every tournament I bowl, not just the majors, in stark contrast to Norm Duke's recent approach. As Parker gets back on the strike train. With another strike here, Ross Malat's going to pull another deposit slip out of his back pocket. His domination has been really unreal. Sick. Uh, he won match one versus Chris Barnes five weeks ago by 54 pins, beat PA by 24 pins, beat Walter A. Williams Jr. by 62, courtesy of that 300. And last week, Rhino Page he defeated by 24. We've seen him throw a 300 in this series already. And through seven. Same tape. Same, same, same. He is on the same tape. path as he was against Anselo. Walter Ray Williams Jr. in week three. I mean, this is just nasty. Know, it looks like he the has firm. the whole right side of the lane. Barnes, he takes down 268, 214. Then he fires 258 at PA. Perfect at Walter Ray. 271 average for his four appearances. Rhino Page gave him a great match. If Rhino would have struck out, he would have shot 256, but West finished first through the last seven to shut him out. Again, the Come top on, 11 from the player of the year point race were all here, so no match was gonna be easy, no matter who advanced. But I mean, that's a tough foursome that yeah. you had to fight through. Yeah, it's not like he's out here beating a bunch of lackeys. No. <laughs> like I said, the whole right side of the lane, he's using it all. Shake it off, Parker. I don't know what to tell you, man. There ain't nothing you can do at this point. Just take your beating like a man, Parker. I can tell you what to tell me. If you don't have a locker, if you don't have a locker in this facility, they're gonna deliver it in a Brinks truck. The king is ashamed. He should be. Guess they don't have enough in Japan for you. There you go, Parker. Strike number six for PB3. Good strike. Parker, be nice to the king because maybe in the future there will be work yeah, for you in, perhaps his, in his kingdom. Yeah, perhaps he'll give him an ambassadorship. What I find interesting about this run through the king of bowling, the one man to defeat West Malat? Are you kidding me? Michael Wilbon. From PTI. Michael Wilbon, the only person to take down on, the big on. nasty. And you know what? What Malat did after losing to Wilbon? No. He took, he took out the 300 stick on Walter Ray. Don't agitate the king. Yeah, you don't. That's not a good idea. How about the front eight now? Looking for nine in a row. And dare I say it, we have possibility of another perfect game. Release, rotation, splash! Are you kidding me? Nine for nine! Great shot. strikes away from a 300. It would be his second in three weeks. Wesley loves him, the Come scorpion on. pattern. Oh, He's got the Bo Derrick, perfect 10. Now he needs 11 and 12. The Bo Derrick, I love it. Perfect 10. That's good stuff, bro. Speaking of good stuff, how about this shot right here? Right over about the 17th board, out to about the four or five board. Comic room's upstairs. And that ball just wheels back. Come on. One more. The front 
11 in the books. One strike away from a second perfect game by the King in the PBA King of Bowling series. And we talked to him today about that 300 game. And he said, you know what? It's courtesy of some of that experience I've been gaining. I can show that I can control my nerves now. Let's see how well he can manage and massage those nerves right now. One strike away from another perfect game. Malai for a brilliant five-week run. Wow. Dominance like that may have right. never, ever been seen in this sport. Oh, my sport. gosh. Sir, do you mind if I finish now? <laughs> yes, I give you uh, honors to do that. I'll try to get out of your way, sir. <laughs> So Parker will close out the 10th with absolutely nothing riding on it. Oh, gosh. I figured well, the closer I got to you, you'd at least get some of that out. Trying to spread the mojo oh to his gosh. competitor. Rob, I'm speechless. I can't remember the last time I, I've seen a performance quite like this. I, I, in all honesty, I think we should formulate a petition to change the Scorpion oil pattern to the West Malat oil pattern. Have a nice headshot of Wes on the lanes next season. This week we're bowling on the West Malat oil pattern. I mean, look at these gaudy numbers. I'm glad you didn't jump into my arm. 257 was his low. He drops perfection twice. And both on former players of the year. I didn't think you could up your average against me, but I'm sorry, I, I was wrong. I just stayed slow. I wouldn't go and do that. My thesaurus does not have the necessary words to describe what we have seen through West Malat. Maybe he can put it into words better. We'll hear from him when we return.